So today we're at Sunrise Preschool. I'm talking to Tanya. Yeah. Who is, what, what is your job title here, I guess? Here. Okay, the yes. director of the preschool. Yes. So you deal with a people, lot of different people, kids and parents. People. This is my people. first time ever trying people. to find like a preschool for my, for my almost four-year-old, I suppose. Yes. And for me, it was like a really emotional journey to put him in, and I'm sure you <laughs> run into that sometimes. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And parents get... Some, sometimes they come and the kids so are very excited and it's you see you later mom and other times they come in and they're very sad and then moms get a little sad. Uh-huh, yes, yes, but the best advice is that uh, never let them see you sweat. Yeah. So um, if you're going to have your emotions show, they have to show outside, not inside. Okay, and that's what I tried to do. I cried a little bit when I thought about putting him into preschool, but I didn't let him see that because we already have like... We're in such an attachment phase right now yes. that I'm like, he's so excited to go to preschool and he'll have right. so much fun once he gets there, but getting kids in the groove of stuff sometimes can be hard. Yes, absolutely. And, and it can also start, if they get sad, then other yeah. kids get sad. Because it's that emotional, well, if you're crying, maybe I better be crying. And <laughs> next thing you know, we've got a whole cast, class of criers. And then we have moms sticking around, and they're crying too. No so, mom. yes, yes. So it's best to uh, drop it out. Yeah, yes. that's, what, that's yes. what we've heard through Kiss daycare. And Kiss, Kiss and go. Kiss and go. Yes, yes. <laughs> hey, Maverick, give him, give him some juice, honey, and then we'll find yours, okay? As far as looking at preschools, we were looking at a bunch of different aspects. What are what have you found to be the top things for parents when they're looking into different preschools? Well, I think when you come in the door, I think that how you're welcomed is a big thing. And I think, you know, it's like even buying a house. You just know when you walk in the mm -hmm. door that this atmosphere is one that I feel comfortable, one that I feel safe. And when you talk with the teachers, you feel that they know what they're talking about, that you feel that camaraderie with them, yeah. and also that you feel safe like meeting that. your child here, and that they're going to get the best care um, social, emotionally, and academically. And here, so I did, I went to like four different preschools, and none of them, I'm not saying any of them were bad or anything, but we did, we just clicked here at Sunrise. Mm -hmm. And um, I knew for my child's personality, how you guys go about the curriculum with preschool was really spoke to him, where it's structured, but it's not like so strict and you can't do anything but this or this. And, it, and that is great for some kids too, but um, could you explain your curriculum a little bit? So we have a play-based mm -hmm. curriculum, See, and so we, yeah. we t teach all of the so different that. things that you, they need to learn, and, so and as far as letters and numbers and colors and shapes and, and uh, how to write, how to cut, we do all of those things. But we use those teachable moments, so we hide the teaching as much as we can. Yes. So you learn through playing, yeah. and, and that also gives us the opportunity to get to know the kids a little bit better mm -hmm. and see where their strengths and weaknesses are so that we can adjust the curriculum accordingly. Because some of the kids, well, I'm beyond this now. Well, why do we need to redo it then? Yeah. Let's move on. Let's get, let's get something else going. And so I think and that, that that's was big for me, too. Like, Maverick is, like, so close to that cutoff deadline that I'm like, oh, I don't want to see him pulled back a year because – like he's so ready to go forward and mm -hmm. and you guys were a little um more willing to work with us on that which is very hard to find in districts around here as well and your teachers are so nurturing yes they're yes, wonderful they love their babies and they are their babies when they come in here and and i think that that's that's that feeling that a parent gets when they come in here yeah. too to be able to see that and when the kids are milling around with the other kids and to see your child go right in and play and even if you have to go with them it's, it's okay. You know, I think that, that when a parent can see the child in there and the children are able to be in there and see what it's like and yeah. participate. And, you know, if snack is going on when you come in for a tour, your child will sit down and have snack. I know, I just loved those because tours because he would just jump right in and play with the yeah. other kids. And you guys even welcomed, welcomed Everett, who is one, and is just like, what's <laughs> happening in this world right here? Right. But they both, I mean, we left here and they were like, Mom, let's go home and play school. Let's go to school. I want to go to school. And that made me so happy as a mom because it wasn't like, okay, grab your papers and do, go do this. And we have so many great schools in Southern Colorado, but you guys are still open for preschool registration, right? Absolutely. We will be until we fill. And, uh, and we also live in a military town. And so people come and go all the time. And so um, I think that that is, is something that we also look for in the registration process is that People come and go all the time, and so there's always openings, you know, because people mm -hmm. are moving in and out. And so I think that that um, allows us to stay open. So for people that are moving in, 
they don't have to be nervous because there are opportunities to still get in. And then so how can people go about that if they do want to register their kids for preschool or if they just want to check it out and do a tour or something? So they need to contact us and uh, we are on the church's website, the Sunrise United Methodist Church website. And we also have our Facebook page and I understand you're going to put us on too. Uh -huh. So, um, but anyway, yes, you can um, get all the information that you need on there and then contact me and I will schedule a tour for you to come in um, and always bring your kids with. I, um, lots of moms will ask, well, can I bring my children with? Well, of course, this is for them. So absolutely. And, and absolutely. then the other thing that I want to address, because we are not technically Methodist, we're actually Catholic, so it's not like you have to be a certain religion to come to this absolutely school Absolutely not, absolutely not. And we, um, the extent of our religion is that we pray before we eat. Mm -hmm. We have chapel once a month. Um, we have, uh, Christmas, we talk about Christmas, we talk about Easter, we have a big Christmas um, program before we go on break. So we have a lot of different things that can be religious based, but there are children here and families here who um, are of different faiths or no faith at all. And so we adapt to everybody. And it's a, it is a nice Christian base though it to is. be able to yes. teach your kids too. Is there anything else you want people to know about the preschool here or just in general everything? Well, I think that, that the best thing to do when looking for a preschool is to be able to have that tour. Yeah. And that answers so many questions when you're able to be on property and see the schools or the classrooms in action. I think that's the biggest thing that you can do. And then when you, if you want to register, you can register right while you're here. Um, they have to be current on their shots and they um, have to do a health form that their doctor will fill out and then that's the end of it. So and any advice cool. for parents too as far as are, is your kid, I know some people are like, do we put them in at three? put them in at four, like is your kid ready for preschool yet? What would you give them mm -hmm. as an advice there? Well, I definitely at three, they are ready um, and they need to be ready. And some of the kids that we have here have not been away from home. Yeah. And so when they can have cool? a year or two to do that, then that helps when they go into that huge elementary school. Because here we have classrooms of either 12 or 14 children yeah. and two staff members. When you go into kindergarten, you have 28 kids and one teacher. And it's a long day. And so to be able to give your children that opportunity to ease into it, I think into is... like the whole socializing. Yes, and it is easing into huge. it because you guys have, some of them are two days a week, some three days a week, and just for a few hours sometimes. Right, right. And so the three-year-olds are here on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 9 to 1, and the four-year-olds are here Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9 to 1. And then we also have a five-year-old program for oh. those children that um, don't make that cutoff for kindergarten, or they're just yes. not ready. Yeah. <laughs> Socially, emotionally, or even academically, they're just not ready. And there isn't a parent out there that will say, shoot, I wish I wouldn't have done that right. and held them back. Because you always hear the parents say, oh, I should have kept them back. And let me tell you too, Mama, it gives you a good break in the day with this new one, do. I'm yes. like, it'll give Maverick some great me time with your you teachers where he's going to feel really special, and you know, in an area that I can't food. just, I, I'm so exhausted and I can't do it all day sometimes. And then it also gives me a little bit of a break to be with my little ones, too. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you need that break. Moms yeah. need that break. And so it's, it's a big deal for everybody. Uh, right. For everybody. Thank yes. you so much yes. for sitting Thank down you with us very today. very much. I'm and so happy you were here. Oh, yes. Yeah. So yeah. you guys, again, can go onto the Sunrise website, and we'll put a link to that as well in the blog portion of this and at koaa.com so you can find it anywhere you go. It's healing. I'm so happy. Did you have a cut on your toe?